How about a Coppola quick facts? So Science Sono called Wild at Heart uh, his favorite Nick Cage movie and an inspiration for his work, which, uh, yeah, I get that. I get that. I see, I, I see some David Lynch in this, this guy. Um, and, you know, uh, I haven't seen any of his other films. This is a, you know, we're, we're, I think that's one cool thing about this show is we're seeing all sorts of different directors and all sorts of different yeah. styles mm-hmm. because we're following Nick Cage. Uh, so we might not be exposed to this. It feels like it's like punk rock Japanese cinema is yeah. what he's mm-hmm. kind of going for. And that's sort of what David Lynch is, is sort of like punk rock American cinema. Sometimes it's absolute madness and sometimes <laughs> it's uh beautifully told you know wonderful storytelling but it's always weird it's always weird everything with david lynch is always weird and i got the feeling that science ono really identified with that <laughs> make yeah. everything weird all the time <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> this film feels like it's trying way too hard to do that yes 100 <clears throat> percent. Yeah. yeah i feel like you know <laughs> Like I said in uh, our last episode, it just feels like like five movies that he watched and he kind of wrote a movie based on those five movies, yeah. you know. There's a little bit of a uh, well, uh, Mad, he Mad made, Max. He made it, maybe he didn't write it, you know, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah that's true, <laughs> yeah. But he definitely put movie. his spin on it. Yeah. The movie was actually delayed for a year uh, prior to shooting it. Um, actually, I think they might have started shooting it, and um, but then Science Sono had a heart attack. In the middle of uh, in the middle of shooting it, and he actually well, said that uh, Nick Cage uh, was the easiest person he's ever worked with, which we have not found to be true for the other directors, <laughs> and that he brought him back from the dead. Science Sono brought him back to rape again. <laughs> oh my god, you had to go there. I was going to make a joke about. I guess raping really takes it out on your heart. I was going to make a joke about bringing out the dead, but uh, oh. he brought him back just to kill him. Yeah, <laughs> he did in a way. Hey, he brought him back, brought him so back to kill his justice. career. Uh, uh, Nicholas Cage, um, as we've s- s- talked about in the past, he actually met his fifth wife while shooting this film. Um, I point her out in the uh, breakdown. Um Oh, she's in the movie. She's in the movie, um, hmm. but very easy to miss. Uh, so we'll we'll point it out was, when we get there. Was she the little girl that played the young <laughs> granddaughter? God, <laughs> God damn it! She's <laughs> <laughs> uh, really into flying squirrels. She's, little crow, dude. <laughs> she's eight. <laughs> 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 yeah, Hugan. <laughs> we haven't mentioned those. He has a, a pet crow named Hugan. That's Hugan. Isn't, that's one of uh, that's one of Odin's crows. I think Hugin? the name of one of one of Odin's ravens, not crows. He's my friend. Yeah, it's like Hugan and Moonen or Munin. I don't know how to pronounce Hugin it. and Mugen. So he or, needs to get a second crow and name it Moonen or whatever. Maybe he had Mugin. a second one and it died. Dort <laughs> I, I got your Moonen right here. <laughs> like my Maybe he sent it, uh, you know, like in Game of Thrones to one of his castles in England <laughs> <laughs> to deliver a message. <laughs> I have married. By the time you get this, she will be of age. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, jokes just for us. <laughs> um. This has been described as the wildest Nick Cage movie uh, by Nick Cage. Um, he said, uh, quote, it might be the wildest movie I've ever made, and that's saying something. So even Nick Cage is like, yeah, I've done some yeah. weird shit, mm-hmm. but this is the mm-hmm. weirdest. That's pretty <laughs> like funny when you think jiu-jitsu? about the fact that he has been in a David Lynch movie. <laughs> right. <So>. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Which I haven't seen Wild at Heart in a long time, but th- he really seems to to love Wild at Heart. Uh, Science Sono does. Science Sono disagreed, saying it isn't more wild than his favorite Cage movie, which is Wild at Heart. Um, I haven't seen Wild at Heart in a long time, but I don't remember it being this fucking off the wall insane. I mean, it, it is. 
It is yeah. insane because it's it's David Lynch. That's what he does. Every time you're watching a David Lynch movie, you know you're watching a David Lynch movie. And uh, yes, it's it's batshit, but not more batshit than this. I don't think. Yeah. But we'll find out. We're going to do it next next season, um, which we might have to do that. I, I don't know how we're going to do it, but there's this uh, this concert film called Industrial Symphony Number no. One, um, which Nick Cage does appear in. Um, at the very beginning on a phone call for like two seconds. And then it's just fucking baby dolls hanging from the ceiling and midgets floating. And <laughs> it's just fucking insane. So science <laughs> Sorry, only? little people, little people. No, it's David Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> of course uh, oh, is this like based off of David Lynch's album? I think it's uh, it music for from album? Um, some Twin Peaks stuff and some uh, oh. some stuff from Blue Velvet and kind of. It's interesting. It's a collection of his stuff. It's just insanity from from the get go, as you would expect. Hero, our character that Nick Cage is playing, uh, Sign Sono says is a combination of two characters, uh, and I don't see either one of them in it. Uh, Sailor Ripley from Wild at Heart and Caster mm-hmm. Troy from Face Off. I see it. You see Face Off in this? Yeah, he makes those faces. He makes a couple faces, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I no, don't, I don't. I don't see, I don't see either I don't of those at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. Maybe he wrote it that way, and then Nick Cage did yeah. it different. Which is like, like <laughs> there's like, a moment I'm where he points at that. Ratman. He points at Ratman, and he says, "There you are." And I got to assume that Cyan Sona wanted him to do the exact same delivery as Vampire's Kiss. But then Nick Cage kind of pointed and did it a little bit different because I don't think Nick Cage wanted to repeat something he had <laughs> yeah. done in the past. Yeah. And I think he's kind of sick of people that. asking him to do that. And uh, mm-hmm. I don't think he wanted to do it ever, but then agreed when he, they threw him fucking truckloads full of money to do Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> $30 million budget for Massive Talent. How much of that? Went to Nick Cage. 15, 20? Uh, I'd say at least 15. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how much Pedro got paid because he's a oh, big yeah. star now. Yeah. Probably not as much as you would assume because he was like when they shot it, I don't think that he was getting as much heat. I think he had he done was, like though, the first season of Mandalorian. Mandalorian. And, and of course, Game of Thrones. Last of Us. Had he Game already been cast there? Yeah, he'd been yeah, casting. He's been cast in for the Last of Us. Okay. Yeah, because there was some there's a conflict with season two of Mandalorian. They had to film mm-hmm. around him filming Last of Us. Uh, so yeah. they, sh- they shot it. they shot that show over a year. They just wrapped the other day, mm-hmm. mm. and it's only ten episode season. So it's gonna be yeah, he's a busy guy. Big, huh? <laughs> he's busy, mm-hmm. and he's he's filming Mandalorian season Huge. three right now. Yeah, which has nothing to do with what we're talking about. But <laughs> that's why just, he just wanted to say something about Star Wars. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why he was at <laughs> Celebration because they were filming <laughs> in LA, and so some of the cast were able to show up. And they weren't filming yeah. at the volume. Uh, well, yeah, the volumes in LA. Oh, wait, I thought I say England. filming, but I don't think Pedro Pascal is really there for much of that show. I think he shows up to a voice booth and does a couple of days. <laughs> you don't think he does the the in costume? No, I know acting. for a fact he doesn't. There's two really? other stunt actors that do most wow. of everything you see on screen. They just bring him in to do the voice and then to do, you know, when they when he takes his helmet off, obviously. <laughs> but it's interesting. The fact that he was, I mean, they were filming Last of Us basically the entire time they filmed season two of The Mandalorian, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> should tell you how little he's actually there. This is the uh, the first collaboration between Nick Cage and Nick Cassavetes since uh, Face Off. Um, so it's the I think it's the only other collaboration between the two of them. Uh, Nick Cassavetes, a uh, son of John Cassavetes, who's the the famous uh, director, and then Nick Cassavetes actually is a director himself and did The Notebook, as we discussed in mm-hmm. uh, in our Face Off episode. Um, so he's an accomplished dude. Yeah. Brings nothing to this film, yeah. Just like Nick mm-hmm. Cage, uh, <laughs> just kind of there to be weird. Mm-hmm. Eyeliner, Freddy Krueger yeah. looking. He looks like the <laughs> singer from Rammstein, <laughs> helping Nick Cage rob he a bank. Does. He does. <laughs> he does. He yeah. does. Uh, this is the fourth collaboration between Nicolas Cage and X Y Z after the highly acclaimed horror movie comedy um, Mom and Dad. 
the cult classic Mandy and the Lovecraft adaptation Color Out of Space. So uh, I have we haven't seen Mom and Dad yet. We're going to do that next season because <clears throat> I wanted to space out the horror a little bit more since we did so many in the first season. Um, but uh, I'm really looking forward to Mom and Dad since it's from the same people who did Mandy and and Color Out of Space. But putting this film in that list, yeah, doesn't seem fair. Um, but I get well, it. I it's a weird count it. art film. <laughs> So. Yeah, but there were seven different studios at the start of this yes. that were listed mm-hmm. at the start of this. Just kind of like Willie's. It's Plus funny, two funny other. You should like, mention that because <laughs> <laughs> I talk about that immediately in the breakdown. Okay, good. Because it's the first thing you see. Just sit through a minute and a half of studio logos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Plus, they also do special thanks to like two investment companies, or I'm assuming management companies yes. that bankrolled yes. it or whatever. So. Yep. <laughs> total of nine different companies involved in making this. Yes. <laughs> uh.